Hey everyone, so I want to share with you guys another piece of important news that has something to do again with um, the US. And you guys are going to be really, really, really outraged after I'm done reading this article. Because the title of the article says, US government asks Zimbabwe to return land to white farmers. So let's go ahead and get to the article. A striking revelation has emerged from the Derko Symposium meeting on Monday. Officials representing Zimbabwe at the event have reacted to claims that the U.S. government has offered to ease sanctions on the country. If President Emerson Ngagwa addresses the issues, Surrounding the Land Reform Program issued in 2000. The Mugabe era law ushered in a period of chaos and violence as white farm owners were forced off their properties as part of ZANU PF's attempts to redistribute land in Zimbabwe. The much maligned legislation cast peria status upon the country and marked the start of Zim's dramatic economic decline. Nangagwa ha hasn't, proved to be hasn't proved to be much softer than his predecessor though. Since 2017, the president has, off has twice ordered a military crackdown against his own civilians and he's overseen another dramatic inflation in food and petrol prices. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Certainly, Nangagwa's hardline stance remains the same on land. The Zimbabwe ambassador to South Africa told the Durko event that the U.S. want the land returning to those who own it at the turn of the century. But according to David Hamadzripi, the president is standing firm on the land grabs, a position EM reiterated on Monday afternoon. During the GBF 2019 summit in Dubai, Nangagwa also implored Zimbabweans based in Africa to return home and help their country, which they should. They, 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 they really should um, help their um, country and heal their country from all the colonial damage that has, done, that has been done by the colonizers. He brazenly told the audience that the country is now open for business, citing mining and agriculture as their two most profitable industry, in, in, in industries. Meanwhile, South Africa's Durko minister, Naladi Pandor, rallied SADC to lobby for the lifting of sanctions on Zimbabwe by their global partners. Even if the U.S. has laid down their strict terms and conditions, Pandor believes that the time is right to assist Zimbabwe in helping itself. It seems clear that, that, that even as we support the call for an end to economic sanctions, the political dynamics are inextricably linked to the economy and thus should be confronted simultaneously. SADC may need to go beyond the resolution we adopted and engage those who have imposed sanctions to agree on lifting sanctions to support the recovery of sectors such as health, agriculture, and education. All right, so I believe um, that is the end of the article. So as you have read, the 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 U.S. wants um, land um, to be returned by um, southern so-called southern um, southern African white farmers. Okay, now I don't I I I I don't know why the U.S. just can't leave these people alone and. Um, let Africans do what they want to do, and let let indigenous Africans do what they want to do with themselves. Okay, because throughout much of um history, um since the colonial times, they have really, really lost a lot of stuff that has meant to them. Not only did they lose their land, but they also lost some of their cultures and traditions that they hold dearly and have been forced to assimilate to European way of life. As a matter of fact, there are some 
I read one time that there are some um, ethnic groups in the Congo region in Africa that speak French as their fluent language, and it's 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 really sad. And the time needs to come where indigenous Africans return to their roots and stop living by the lifestyle of the colonizer. All right, and it's really really disgusting and outrageous that the U.S. is going to um, interfere with Zimbabwe's decision to cater to their own people rather than um, the white people who have been living in Southern Africa for a long time, okay? And it doesn't surprise me because white people are always going to defend white people, okay? Devils are also are, are are always going to protect devils, but the U.S. has no say on what Zimbabwe wants to do. Okay, because there are a lot of corrupt African leaders in Africa who don't care for their own people. At least Zimbabwe is um, giving land back to the indigenous um, South Africans who deserve to have their land back. Okay, because these white South Africans. <sighs> I don't even know if I uh, if 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 they should even be called South Africans. So I'm just gonna call them the alien white people who invaded South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gonna say. The 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 alien white people who invaded South Africa never ever ever deserved the land that they stole in the first place. Okay, they stole it through the genocide and. Um, killings of millions of um, indigenous Africans, okay? So the, the U.S. doesn't have the right to dis decide and say what Zimbabwe should do because the U.S. has no say, okay? They should just leave Zimbabwe alone as well as many of these African nations, okay? You know, people wonder why um, the, 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 the US, uh, people hate Americans, well, it's because the, 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 these Americans always interfere with the business and affairs of other nations of people. That's why. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share with you guys this um, important piece of um, news um, that's coming out of um, Zimbabwe. Let me know what you think about it, and I'll see you guys on the next video.